video, I'll show you how to crochet a basic blanket square, just like this one. This is a really easy square. It's great for beginners or even for kids. If you'd like a more advanced crochet pattern, you can find that on our website. And if you'd like to watch a video to learn how to knit a square, you can also find that on our website. To start, you need to make a foundation chain for your square. To begin that, you will make a slip knot. So just loop the yarn over and then pulling the yarn through the loop and tightening it. And place that on your crochet hook, tighten it up a little more, and now we'll make a chain. Yarn over, just place the yarn over the crochet hook, pull it through the loop, and that's one chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You continue chaining until you have a total of 27 chains. Now we've made our foundation chain and it's time to start crocheting the first row. Now first you have to understand the construction of the foundation chain. You've got your loop on the hook and then you can see that below that is a V shape, that's one chain, and a series of Vs. You need to work into the third V, so that's one, two, three, and this is the one we're working into. So to work the first stitch, we're working a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now you've got three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. That completes the first half double crochet stitch. To work the next one, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. You'll continue in this way until you've worked all the way across the foundation chain. When you get to the very end of the foundation chain, just make sure you don't miss that very last chain. It's the one that's right above the slip knot. Just work into that chain and complete your half double crochet. Now to begin the next row, you're gonna chain one and then turn the work. Now you see at the top of this row is a series of V's. Each of these V's is one stitch and we'll be working into each of these V's to work our way across the row. So to work the first stitch, we'll go into that very first V and you'll insert your hook under both legs of the V. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. To work the next stitch, yarn over, insert into the next V. Pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all three loops. And we'll just continue in this way, working all the way across the row. Now we're almost at the end of the row, and a very common mistake for crocheters is missing a stitch at the beginning or the end of the row. So you want to make sure that you work into the very last V of the row. Sometimes it's sort of hiding on the end there. And a good way to check yourself and make sure you're not missing any stitches is to count all the V's at the top of your row at the end of a stitch and make sure that you have the same number you started with. So now to start the next row, we will chain one, turn, and then we're gonna work right into that first V. So yarn over, insert into that first V, complete your stitch and just continue working across the row as you did the previous row. And you'll continue working every row in this way until your square measures nine inches long. After you've worked your square until it's nine inches long, your piece will look like this. And all that's left to do is finish it off. And that's very easy in crochet. After you've worked your last row, You'll have one loop on your hook, as you have had for every row, but instead of chaining and starting another row, you'll just cut your yarn tail to about six inches long. Yarn over and just pull that yarn tail through the loop and tighten it, and that will fasten off the loop so that it won't unravel. The last thing to do is weave in these yarn tails so that they'll be neatly tucked away and they won't unravel. And to do that, you'll use a yarn needle like this one. It's a big needle with a big fat eye that allows you to thread yarn onto it. You'll just thread your yarn needle with your yarn tail. And then you'll just weave underneath several crochet stitches. 
You can go back and forth in a couple of different directions to make sure that the yarn tail will be really secure. Once you've done that, just trim your yarn tail with a pair of scissors, weave in the other end, and your square is done. And that's all there is to making an easy basic square for this project. All that's left to do is to send your finished squares to Warm Up America, where volunteers will seam them together into a wonderful warm blanket like this one. Handmade blanket is such a comfort and such a great way to show you care. Thank you so much for joining me in helping Land's End to warm up America this winter. All it takes is a simple square to make a difference.